you ever get that thing finished, we'll have to fly together. Well, I will definitely get it finished. Like I said, it's just been trying to determine what engine to put into it. Well, that shouldn't be a hard factor anymore. No, I think. How was the ride? Oh, it was great. Yeah? He, he was he was nice enough to let me take the stick, but I wasn't willing to give any inputs that he wanted well, to I, see. So I, I had let to you take keep your lunch, me. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, overall impression as far as performance, how are we doing? very good. We, we've got fairly high density altitudes right now and uh, the only other Sonics I can compare it to is a, a Jabiru 6 powered one. It's the only other one I've flown in. But right. smoother, certainly as much if not more power. How was your experience? It was great. Great motor. Did you like it? Oh, be careful. Nice. Yeah, I did. Very nice, smooth, quiet, powerful. Well, that was fun. Yeah, very, very fun. Good. Thank you. Yeah. How was your experience with the Viking engine? It was good. It was nice and smooth and not so many things to play around with fuel mixture and everything, so it seemed simple. Got a, got a couple thousand hours and all kinds of the Wichita spam can, Cessna Piper, Mooney, Beechcraft. Is that going to be and are you getting involved with home built planes? I'm considering a Zenith 750. How was your experience flying behind the Viking engine? It's very quiet, very, yeah. very smooth, a lot of power. The biggest thing was it was just very, very quiet. So I was very impressed. So you enjoy the flight? Yes, thank you very much. All right. Well, I had fun too. Thanks so much. Okay. Thanks, yep. Ron. How was the what was the feeling like flying this airplane with this engine? Impressive. Like the Sonics, it's buttery smooth. Uh, performance is excellent. And anyone that's come from a traditional aircraft where you have to monitor um, your mixtures, etc., I don't think would find it difficult to set up their their boost on their turbo. I don't think that would be a big handicap if it wasn't automated. Hello, I'm Don Tutoriano. I'm a sport pilot. I like building planes. I have about two and a half aircraft and I'm currently looking for an engine to put in my Kitbox Super Sport 7. So I'm here to do a demo to see how that engine works out. Okay, so uh, what interests you about the Viking? The cost per horsepower is a very key feature about it. It's a, it's a known proven design. The hunt engine is a very good engine block. So the only factors considered are what Viking put around that block. So I want to look at some temperatures and some performance numbers and, and see what that tells me. like what I see. So the performance of the plane, what I noticed was the smoothness of the engine, the lack of vibration. And I know car engines are designed for that because you want quiet running and smooth running, but that's something I've never even fathomed having in an aircraft before, that lack of vibration, which is, of course is better for the airframe, better for you, and better for the longevity of everything. I'm quite impressed with the engine. The turbo is both water-cooled and oil-cooled, so you don't have the lag time of shutting down like you would in a typical diesel engine with a turbo where you have to allow the oil to cool prior to shut down. So that's that's a huge benefit for anybody who doesn't want to sit and idle for any length of time. Sure. Yep. All right, well, this was fun. I'm glad that you got your second ride today. Thank you very much. Yep. Very, very impressive. I, I'd suggest anyone who gets the opportunity truly look at this engine if they have an airplane that, that uh, is, is in this horsepower range that they're looking for. It's pretty amazing. Sure. Well, thank you so much again. Thank you. Uh, Bill Earl from Oregon. Okay, and what's your background in aviation? I've been flying since 1967. Wow, uh, that's when I was born. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've uh, light aircraft, but I was in the business. Used to have a Cessna dealership up in Oregon, and corporate airplanes, helicopters, and I currently have an RV-12 with a little engine in it, and I love it. All right, so it's kind of uh, safe to say that you have a lot of background in aviation. Mm, I would say so. <laughs> yeah, and we're, you and me are going to go fly, and then we'll see uh, how you, what you feel about this particular 750 in this engine, and then uh, we'll talk after the flight. Very good. All right. Thank you. That was very. I, I think the thing, the biggest impression is how uh, strong and solid it feels. Okay. You know, it, it gives you that. Uh, you, feel, you just feel like there's more there. Now you. And, uh, yep. The benefits of it, I can see. I live up in Oregon with the mountains to you know, Pretty much have to get over the mountains anywhere you go out of my valley. So. 
So you're talking about the, the turbo part of yes, it? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And of course, yeah. I have an RV12 with that your engine in it, and I love it. I mean, it's very smooth and a lot of performance, quiet. I mean, every aspect about it, I think, is just right on. Thank you very much. That's the best thing that's happened all day. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. Oh, it was nice and solid, uh, plenty of power. I'm not used to the turbo. I mean, that was real steady and pulled right out real smooth. So. Good. I enjoyed the heck out. A lot different than my flying experience way back when. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's good. Well, hopefully someone can drag you back into it. Okay. Thank you again. Yeah. That was nice. All right. My impression was it was extremely smooth. Okay. And that's seat of the pants. Hands down, it would be the one I chose. Okay. Just from going on the flight. Oh wow. Well, that's yeah. that's very simple and uh, direct. So. Oh no, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, we did have a good flight. We had a crosswind, but other than that, it was nice. Yeah. So. Yeah, the smoothness and quiet. Smooth and, and quiet. Yeah. It seemed like we had enough power to get off the ground. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Good. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. No, okay. thank you. Yeah, I appreciate working me in like that. <laughs> How was that flight? Hey, it was fun. What That's did you fun. like about it and what did you not like well, about it? Well, you know, it's, I, the engine's got a lot of power in it. It's nice. Okay. Smooth ride. And are you familiar with the Zeniths? Uh, my brother's building one. So okay. I was, I, that's the first time I've ever rode in a Zenith. And I feel a lot more comfortable about the fact that, you know, he's built his own and this seems to be very airworthy. Oh, yeah. They're nice airplanes. Very nice airplanes. So, an impression with the engine? Uh, smooth or? It's smooth. Yeah. It's smooth. And I mean, it, uh, it's got power. It's got power. Yeah. I mean, after having flown a Cessna 150, uh, this is by far, I think, a whole lot better engine than that Cessna 150 I trained on. <laughs> it's a nice engine. <laughs> well, I appreciate I it. If I, I bought a Zenith, if I ever built a Zenith, I'd be probably giving you a call. All right. Well, thanks so much. Hey, thank you very much, John. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. That's the first ride in a Zenith. Okay. That's a nice plane. And well, how about the engine? It's quiet. Uh, it looks, uh, you know, precise. Okay. Puts it, you put put the RPMs where you want them, and they stay there, and it uh, looks like it's a well-controlled aircraft, well okay. controlled engine. And the boost and everything, we I showed you how to do that. It was yeah. pretty easy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Straightforward. Yeah. Not a problem at all. And in fact, you can either adjust it with a with the uh, throttle or with the uh, wastegate. With, with the wastegate. Yeah. To quote Dorf Vader, most impressive. How was your experience with the Viking engine? You know what? It was it was great. It was real smooth, and whenever he needed any power at all, it just was there. So, I had a great time. Well, fantastic. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, I've been flying since uh, mid-60s. I've uh, been in home builds for up to a number of years. <laughs> Dara, I'm a uh, sport pilot CFI, and I've owned a number of planes over the years. And something to instruct in and uh, drive a Honda and really like Honda engines. Great! So is that what interests you about the Viking? Yeah. Is that it's based off the Honda? Yeah. Wonderful! Okay, well you should be taking off in a few minutes, so right, sure. we'll talk to you in a little bit when you get back. How was your flight with the Viking? Oh, very enjoyable. First time behind an auto engine, but it runs really nice, really smooth. How was it in comparison to other engines that you've flown? Well, uh, quite smooth. Uh, just, just really, just uh, quite a bit smoother than flying behind a big old radio or something. <laughs> well, thank you so much for flying with me. Yeah, enjoyed it. Oh yeah. Well, John, that was great. It was a pleasure. Thank I'm you. Uh, very happy that you came flying with us. That's a quiet, smooth engine. I like that. Yeah. How was your experience with the Viking engine? Very nice. It's quiet. I like that. How would you compare it to other engines that you've flown? Less vibration than, than a lot of them in the Jabiru or the Rotax. Okay. Hi, uh, Greg Davies. Uh, I'm a former military pilot and uh, present drone pilot of all things, instructor. Uh, but mainly a heavy driver, looking for something to do in uh, my retirement. So, uh, build an airplane and uh, looking for an engine. Great, okay, so what interests you about the Viking? Uh, the uh, Honda connection.
tell you what, I had a great time and what great performance this was. Thank you so much. Yeah, you like the plane and the engine? <laughs> Both. Oh, great. Sounds like you had fun. I did. Thank you. Great. I like it. Real smooth, powerful motor. Wonderful. How was it in comparison to other engines? Well, as far as like a Lycoming or something like that, those are noisy beasts. <laughs> So this was fairly quiet? Oh yeah, very quiet and smooth. Had more than adequate power for this airplane. Okay, great. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. Okay. Thank you. Great. Then. Uh, I think it's pretty much bulletproof. That thing sounds like it. It'll never kind of include. It's a strong motor.